away from that. Mental health has been part and parcel of our daily lives. However, sometimes people shun away from opening up about whatever they are going through. The idea of using call counseling without one expressing themselves one-on-one -on -one with a counselor has been successful as most people have been helped through this. Fatuma Nguena visited the Kenya Red Cross Emergency Operations Center and paints a picture of how it works. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how one thinks, feels, and acts. It also helps to determine how people handle stress, relate to others, and make choices, making it to be important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Later on, like two years ago, we were able to establish a call center that was able to uh, offer psychosocial support to people who have... Uh, uh, distress and, uh, and we usually have counselors who also offer psychosocial support to those people. Sometimes people tend to shun away from opening up directly to counselors whenever they're going through mental health. A, good call center, a call center needs to have adequate space, uh, good sound regulation uh, so that the caller can be able to feel confidential. Another thing, uh, we need to have uh, good contact management using the proper data management system. We need to have integration between uh, the computer and the telephone that usually offer uh, the services. Another thing we need to have is uh, automatic, you know, response, interactive response. When a caller calls, you know, there's something that the software that directs them uh, towards us. Kenya Red Cross Emergency Operations Center is one of the organizations that have come out in approach to solve the whole mental health nightmare through call counseling. And also day to day, uh, we usually receive like 38 to 60 calls, but that depends on the seasons because uh, when COVID was starting, uh, we used to receive up to 100 calls per day. The call center has been able to reach out to a wide range of people, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, since it works hand in hand with the Ministry of Health. So I can say that uh, it doesn't distinguish, but at the same time we also have some uh, prevalence, you know, like women when it comes to depression, because of their nature, I can say that women are more prevalent, you know, to depression compared to men, and that's a fact and a statistic that has been proved, uh, more so when it comes to post uh, postpartum depression. However, because according to Evans De Lizu, uh, sure as much that, uh, as mental health does not choose on gender or age, it has a large prevalence to women than men. Everyone faces challenges in their lives that impact to their mental health, and it is said there is no health without mental health. Fat Mangwena, Switch TV. El